All right, thinness has always been, of course, the top priority for laptop manufacturers is how can we make our computers as much power as possible and still giving a nice thin design. And honestly, the R4 or the R5, they're not, uh, you know, they're definitely not super thick computers. They're, they're pretty thin. As you can tell, it's about the length of my thumb. So, and then even open, it's even more thinner. So I always thought these were pretty thin, but it looks like Alienware has just announced today um, that they have a new lineup called the Alienware Series X. And this is an exclusive new technology that they're using, a uh, gallium silicone matrix base material it's supposed to overall reduce uh, temperatures as well as increase the um, the cooling between the CPU and, and the GPU uh, the X series is also said to be even thinner it's going to use the Intel's 11th generation processors there isn't any word right now on whether or not they're going to include Intel or I'm sorry there isn't any word right now if they're going to include AMD. Right now it's just Intel, and then it sounds like they will be using the 30 series graphics cards. Um, again, no word on whether or not they're going to include AMD graphics or not. Um, there's a couple videos out there just kind of showcasing what it looks like. But right now it's really hard to say. I just know that the thing looks pretty promising um, it still looks like it has this honeycomb design, but from what the video showed, it looked like they're eliminating, at least from the video, it looked like they eliminated this part and then the back. It still looks very much like this, but all the ports, there was like six, seven different ports just along the back here. So I don't know if they've eliminated because they don't really show the side. They really just show... Um, the back and it's kind of like that view so i i don't even know if that was just a prototype um but the underside of the laptop then had um still had this honeycomb design but it was more of it going this way than this way um the other key things that i did notice is that it looks like it's all one color so you know how this is black and this the only part that i really could see that was black was going to be this this back piece um otherwise it, it very much looks like the r4 or the r5 series but they claim it's going to be completely different so i don't know if this is going to be like how this um is like a baby uh area 51 uh, that's the best thing i can come up with the R4, R5, R3, R2 series is that they are basically baby alienwares, Area 51s. Um, so we'll see how this new computer looks. I am have a feeling it's going to be good. New technology, I'm assuming that with this new technology, the thermals will become even better. Um... At least that's what I'm hoping for. Because I know on here the number one issue is the thermals. Because Alienware has, you know, crammed a lot of power into this small, thin computer. So with that, there comes a lot of heat. So I'm assuming the material is going to be engineered to absorb more heat. This magnesium does a pretty good job at uh, absorbing heat, but... Um, overall, I'm kind of at a loss. I don't know if I should have waited to order this and just waited to see what the 11th gen Intel processors are going to do. I, I'm assuming the 11th gen, they're going to run a little bit cooler than the 10th gen. Um, it's just that the 10th gen has been such a, a popular amongst manufacturers. They're easy to get to, um... And, and they work good. So that, that's really the big reason on why 11th gen hasn't been as widely um, used in laptops. 
But uh, it looks like 2021 Alienware might just come up with another model. So that that technically would be three models because this R4 came out, I believe, in January of 2021. Then they just released here this month the R5. And, uh, well, actually last month they released it. And now they're going to come up with the X-Series. So I am very interested in seeing what the X-Series looks like. And I uh, might just have to pay this one off early and order it. <laughs> 